Hey guys, it's Spooks, and today I'm making a video that I would not usually make, and don't plan to do any more of these in the future, if I can avoid as many as I can. Today's rant is about... Ducktown. Whoa, that literally just blew my mind, man. So if you're unfamiliar with this quacky dude, he's your typical cartoon critic. He loves My Little Pony and regular show, but hates Teen Titans Go. Which, eh, I don't blame him, Teen Titans Go isn't the best show ever, but, you know, I can live with it. So, back and forth between him and Peach Real Productions, there's been a lot of drama spouting from each other. And today I'm gonna go over what, how I'm involved in the situation here. So, as some of you should know, but I don't like making enemies on YouTube or any form of substance. So the reason I'm in all of this drama is because I talked to Ducktown to try and make an alliance with him. I didn't want to just get hate due to me being in Peach Real Productions or being in like a crowd. So I talked to Ducktown a bit and a few things that I've said I kind of regret now. But the stuff Ducktown has said and has plagiarised my words back to Techno. So if you look at this screenshot right here, you can see that Ducktown has edited this image to make it look like I've gone against Techno and Aisha and I hate them. Though for some reason, later on today, he states that he has nothing against me. He seems to think Techno is the best YouTuber out there due to the fact of how much respect he has for him to leak back information. He can't be trusted with anything due to this. This has almost made me lose Aisha and Techno as friends multiple times now thanks to Ducktown. And yes, I'm in the wrong for actually talking to him and stuff, but he's a fucking rat when he does this kind of stuff. But I should also address what's been happening today. So Ducktown has made a video saying he's in trouble, and it's calling out Techno and Aisha as scumbags. Now, I really don't have much to do, I really don't want to be in this drama load, and Ducktown said he had nothing against me if I stay out of the drama. But the things he has said today has urged me on to make this rant and just look at it yourself. So here's the first screenshot. So as you can see in this picture, Ducktown says that he hopes all the Muslims kill everyone in the Netherlands. That really isn't a joke, is it? If he was referring to Muslims, he should be referring to ISIS, not just Muslims as a whole. So Aisha replies stating that she's Muslim and then Ducktown goes off in his own little world and starts talking about bacon. Then he goes on to state how he isn't racist because Muslims aren't a race, so he must be a bigot or worse than Islamophobe. So as you can see, Ducktown isn't treating this situation seriously and continues to joke about Muslims even though it wasn't really funny in the first place, Ducktown. I, I don't see any substance of comedy here other than calling someone a Muslim, but yeah, eh. Next screenshot. So in this screenshot, you can also see Ducktown trying to use his amazing sense of comedy, which also isn't really fucking funny, like... Calling someone just a Muslim, that's your sense of comedy here. I I'm really not getting it here, Ducktown, you you're kind of going off in your own uh, little comedy world that nobody else gets. Even Techno agrees that the fucking he tries to be leafy and edgy, which I can agree on, most of his videos are trying to be in Leafy's nature. Oh, and here's Ducktown's amazing way of defending himself, as he states that he has Muslim friends, so I guess that means it's okay to joke about people being Muslim and kind of call them out for being Muslim, if you have Muslim friends, you know. And then he says Aisha has the intelligence of a doorknob, which... Are you trying to be funny here, or is this just like a plain out complaint? I, I can see why Ducktown's kind of pissed off here from getting dislikes on his videos and such. But you can't just blame it all on two people. If you're trying to do good comebacks, don't just state like if someone has the intelligence of a doorknob, which I should doesn't. And stating someone's purely Muslim isn't really a good comeback either. Yeah, Ducktown, whatever. I'm guessing you're atheist, seeing as you like to point out people are Muslim and such. Like, some of the stuff Ducktown is saying today is also kind of insane. Like, how he hates Ronan for sending him hentai, which is apparently illegal in the UK, when I live in the UK, and the, the cocks haven't shown up at my door yet, saying, Yeah, you sent some fucking hentai, you're going to jail, mate, you can't look at some naked cartoons online, you know? I've never heard that statement before, and if, if it's true, oh shit, I'm going to jail, guys, it's goodbye, my YouTube career's over. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this Ducktown rant. I honestly had to make it due to the claims Ducktown is making kind of sickening. 
the amount of things he finds comedic and such. Of course, I try to stay at a neutral state with every other YouTuber, and I respect people's opinions and free use of speech, but the things he's saying as comebacks, it really disgusts me. And the fact you can see in this screenshot, he's apparently hired trolls to go hate on ISIS channel, which I don't really see solving anything. If you're going to solve something, just try to stay as distant away from someone as you can. Don't attract their attention by making a rant specifically pointing out them and urging them to reply to you. Like, yo come at me bro, I'm, I'm so edgy guys, I can take this. And honestly this rant would have been made if you're not being so crude with your language and shit. Like, you don't just call out someone for being Muslim, it's, it's fucking disgusting. Anyway, I'm done rambling, don't expect one of these again. Goodbye.